Right, so we're going to try and add a bit of push to a regular touch. So often um, it will be dogs that are just touching ever so slightly. What, where have you been? That are doing just the smallest of touches. And it's like that where they hardly ever do it. There you go. You get like a brush of a touch rather than a normal touch. So one thing you can start doing is now asking for two touches for every one treat. So Merlin, are you ready? Touch, yes and touch. Yes, good boy. And what tends to happen is they then think, oh, maybe you didn't feel the first one. So then they start pushing a little bit harder to do that. Touch, yes, touch. Yes, good boy. Good boy. So keep your hand in one place. Don't need to move it. Touch, yes, touch. Merlin, yes, good boy. Good lad. And um, the other thing you can be doing also is moving your hand away as they're, they're about to do the touch, Merlin touch. And then they try and push that little bit harder because they, they think that they're going to miss out on the treat if they don't get the touch. Touch. Yes, good boy. Yeah, that very good boy, if you are. Okay. Um, so those are two things that you could be um, doing to help. Another thing is to have an item for a touch. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you touch? Touch. Yes, good boy. And again, just move it slightly out of reach just before they get the touch. So then they start really pushing to get it quicker. So they start learning that if they don't touch it quick enough, they take slightly longer to get the treat. So having it here, touch, yes, good boy. Um, you could even ask them to follow it. Right, it's there, touch, Merlin, Merlin. Follow it round, touch, touch, yes, good boy. Okay, um, another um, thing that you could do, get rid of that, is to push back slightly. So touch, touch. Where is it? Touch. Merlin, touch. Yes, good boy. And they don't get anything until they actually give a good push. Touch. Wait. Touch. Yes, good boy. So then, then that's more looking at duration than the, the, the pushing kind of thing. The best one tends to be a bit of teasing though. So actually asking them, touch and touch again. Yay, yeah, good boy. Um, and they tend to think, you know, I need to get that touch going. Um, you can do it on two hands. You can do a touch, yes, touch, yes. Um, but then you often get them starting to turn before they do the first touch because they know that the second hand's coming. So using one hand tends to get more of a, a push going um, than trying to use two hands for that one, all right? Um, so if you want to film um, so I can see what your dog is doing, um with that touch i can't remember which one dog it is um indra i think you said um then film it let me have a look and i'll see if there's also anywhere i can tweak just to, to help that push push on the nose come along and there's a chicken okay